right now? Well, yes, of course. <laughs> I'm a mom, and I would and like... And you would like a mom mosa. Yes. yes. So. I'm with you, girl. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, <laughs> sounds like fun. If the kids don't do the summer camp, I will. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, how about that weather for the weekend? How about that weather? Mm. Yes. Rainy, cold. Oh. It's going to get better. Oh. Yes, yes, I like your attitude, Jenny, because it will get better and it will get a lot warmer. That's all happening next week, and for some of you, that's spring break, which is great news. Okay, mostly cloudy with a few isolated sprinkles out there. We're seeing that out towards PDX right now. Look at your temperature, it's 58 degrees. Wind right now is out of the southwest at about 7 miles per hour. Temperatures tonight fall into the low 50s. Not a major cool down, in fact, that's going to make your morning temperature tomorrow. Well above normal. What are we seeing on radar right now? Again, just a few isolated sprinkles. This approaching the Columbia River, St. Helens area, eventually transferring over to a battleground and Ridgefield. But it's not widespread, just isolated little pockets. Hey, check out the worm moon. That's right, that's our full moon. It became officially full this morning, but what about the weather? Are you going to be able to see it? Well, likely not tonight, so let's just talk about it. Full moon rises in the eastern sky tonight at 8.03. That's just about 40 minutes after the sun sets. Okay, let's talk about that rain that we're expecting for the weekend. Just for tomorrow, tomorrow's totals close to about 3 tenths of an inch at the coast, a half inch. Okay, well, what about if we add up Sunday and then Monday? Because, yeah, the rain continues through Monday. All in all, we might be able to collect just under an inch right around Portland. At the coast, we're looking at about one and a half to maybe even two inches of rain. Of course, the place with the most rain will be western Washington. What about some rain for our friends out to the east? Maybe a little bit more than a tenth of an inch, tenth of an inch to about a quarter of an inch. But here's the thing, it's going to be a lot colder this weekend, so some of that rain will actually be falling as snow anywhere above 2,000 feet. Let's talk about timing for all this. So first for the coast tonight, we'll see the rain show up and more uniform rain showing up over the valley right around 3 o'clock in the morning. At this time, it's still pretty warm. We're still getting that wind out of the south. And look what happens as soon as that cold front passes on Saturday afternoon. Behind it, much colder air. So by the time we get to Sunday morning, we could have some light accumulations over the coast range. It won't last all that long, though. Look at what happens as soon as we get to Sunday afternoon. Yes, more mountain snow, plenty of it, but then we get that south wind to come right back up. So that's going to warm things up to the point where we're going to see our snow level on Sunday up to about 3,500 feet. So we are counting on snow over those mountain passes. It could be as much as three to even five inches of snow. But what about our temperature? Well, if we take a look at what's happening at that 5,000 foot mark, we might be seeing a little bit of a temperature rise starting Monday afternoon. So much so that our freezing level, by the time it's nice and sunny for the valley, could be all the way up to almost 7,000 feet by Tuesday. So what we want to do is examine our temperatures aloft. So when we look at the models ahead at about that 5,000 foot level, look at what happens. Negative temperatures. Now these numbers are in Celsius. So what this translates to is at 5,000 feet, by the time we get to Sunday morning, 23 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means at your ski resorts, right at the base, a temperature of 23 degrees. And then look at the big change. As soon as we get to Tuesday, look at that big old ridge building. It's outlined very well in these contours. 13 degrees Celsius. So what does that mean for you on Tuesday? That means by Tuesday, we're going to see temperatures at your ski resorts up to 55 degrees. So big transitions, I, if I'm going to hand out any advice, I would say if you want to get some really good mountain snow, do it this weekend because look at next week. Tuesday, we might even get up to either 69 or 70 degrees and stay there in the 60s all the way through Thursday of next week. Okay, and so wait, when is your kid's spring break? Is it? The week after. The week after, okay. Yes. All right, so are you, you didn't guys? didn't ask me. Well, your kids here, you're older. My son has spring break. Oh, he, oh, oh that's good great. He just came yes. home. Yes, yeah, you got big plans? He's going to California. Oh. He came home so he can leave. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, that was nice. He saw you for a day. Yeah. Yeah. Days, yeah. Okay. That's nice. All right. Well, with the uh, start of spring.